This quick tip is about containment on restoration projects. So whether you're doing CAT3 remediation or mold remediation, or setting up a drying chamber, or just dust containment on a reconstruction project, we use containment a lot in restoration. So we brought in special guest Dan from Zipwall Products to show us the four simple steps to setting up containment on restoration projects. Hi, I'm Dan from Zipwall, here to talk to you about building containment. Step one, measure and cut your plastic. Make sure to leave six inches on each side. Step two, attach the plastic to the pole by sandwiching the plastic between the head and the non-skid plate. Raise the pole to the ceiling. Tuck the plastic under the bottom of the pole. Repeat this step until all the poles are in place. Step three, use the foam rails to seal the plastic against the walls, the ceiling, and the floor. Step four, create an entryway into the containment If this is going to be a negatively pressurized enclosure, install your air filtration device now. Dan, thanks for those quick tips. We really appreciate it. Watch for more detailed instruction to be coming soon on the REITS TV online library.